The vestiges of severe tropical storm Paeng's fury are still apparent and widespread, such as in San Pedro Laguna, where close to 300 families are in evacuation centers, waiting for floodwaters to recede, while others deal with the misery of walking through the mud or on damaged roadways. Our Daniel Manalastas has more on many community residents putting off their trek to cemeteries to honor their dead until they finish cleanup of their homes in this report. Flood waters in a number of barangays in San Pedro, Laguna have still not receded, just like in Barangay Landayan, where some residents also complained about the puddled and potholed road. They said they could not find time yet to visit their departed loved ones at the cemetery today due to the flood. Sana po magawa na lang po ng paraan para kahit pa paano po mada madaanan kasi marami, malaking perwisyo po eh. Wala po muna. Oo, hindi makapunta kasi nga unahin na lang muna namin yung sarili namin dito. At the evacuation center, evacuees begged for medicine for their children. There was enough food and water for everyone. Hindi po namin alam kasi may tubig pa po sa bahay namin eh. According to the City Social Welfare of San Pedro, Almost 300 families are still in evacuation centers. Six barangays have been affected. Marami po ang may malalaking puso na nagbibigay po at nagpupunta po, nagpapakain sa atin pong mga evacuees. Pero kung magpupunan nyo, ang karamihan pong sinasabi nila ay uh, yun pong taas ng putik. Earlier, the local government of San Pedro accepted the help courtesy of the Office of Vice President Sara Duterte, a donation of 100 sacks of rice delivered from the OVP. Ito pong kanyang 100 kabans na ito ay talagang sisiguraduhin po ng ating city government sa panguna po ni Mayor Art Mercado na makakarating, makakarating po bawat butil niyan sa mga uh, alam po natin na nangangailangan. Daniel Manalastas for the Nation.